Hello YouTube world, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic. And welcome back to the YouTube channel, YouTube channel everybody. I'm so excited to have you all back here together again. And in today's video, we're reviewing another celebration of cinema review for film for The Breakfast Club. Uh, this is a movie I remember watching a few years ago. And even as a young age, when I was still somewhat in elementary school, I ended up really loving this film. And... It's it still works on rewatch. So let's just go ahead and get started reviewing it. Okay, so if you don't know who the director of this film is, it's actually Sean Hughes. Which if you've ever seen um a bunch of on um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off or Weird Science, he's directed tons of those films. Uh this act Breakfast Club Act happens to be my favorite of his. And um, what's funny is I didn't actually realize John Hughes directed Breakfast Club or Ferris Bueller or Weird Science. And I've, I've heard that name tons of times before. Whenever people would reference uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, they would always go back to John Hughes because it has that sort of high school humor with, you know, because John Hughes is really famous for, was really famous for doing high, high school humor. Um, and even one of my favorite films of all time is, uh, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. And in a way, the Breakfast Club was an inspiration on that film. Where you have these four kids and they go in the video game and you learn a lot about their personal lives and what happened and get to be better. And with this movie, that's basically what the premise is. You have these four, these five kids that have to take Saturday detention and they have to be there for eight, almost pretty much eight hours, I believe. And, and the way that they do this is it's done through really good comedy, really good acting, and also just interesting dialogue. And that's really what we get for an hour and 36 minutes. So let's go in and get started talking about the rest of the film. And since this is a film starring um, teenagers, we have to talk about them. And all of them are really likable. They're all funny. They have all the teenage quirks to them. Um, but what, what, ma what makes it interesting is they find a way to make every character... Up. It's a film that takes place in a school library. That's the location of the film. It, in a school library during detention on a Saturday... And even, like, all the other characters, like the the janitor and the principal, they're all fun, too. I even remember watching Die, the first Die Hard film a couple um, a couple months back. He was in it, and he was great. Um, especially not believing in uh, John McLaughlin, or whatever his name is. Uh, so, yeah, he was great in here. And then even the janitor is also fun. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of the... the a lot of the characters are just so fun and funny. But that leads into my next part, which we'll talk about now. And I think one of the interesting things I love about this film is the way that this movie is able to portray um, uh, high school life as what exactly does it go on well, what exactly did happen when people were in detention back in the day? You would have them sitting in there for hours, being bored as hell, doing all the weird quirks and everything. Um, you know, doing the weird dances, doing the weird stuff and all that great stuff. Um, and in a way, it's kind of like a prison. And even like like the most iconic scenes of the lunch of the when they eat the lunch, like you have the girl, the classy girl, she eats her sushi. You have this guy, he gets so much stuff for lunch: an apple, some fruit, a bunch of sandwiches, uh, some, some muffins, like so much food. And then you get one of the other kids, he just gets a basic lunch. And then you get the weird girl in the back, and he's just eating. And she's just eating some, some, some weird stuff. Captain Crunch on a cereal. Like, 
that kept the grunge on a, on, a, on, a, on bread and like that is <laughs> is is weird and it fits the way that the film is supposed to be, but it's also kind of funny too. Um, and yeah, so I, I love the way that they they were able to bring that high school life to this film of what it is with the tension and how would that do. But that, that also leads to my next part um, where it leads into the darker elements of high school lures stories. And I think part of the big thing that works about this film is while it deals with kids in attention, it also finds a way to give all the characters a bit of depth and a bit of deeper meaning to where you kind of think about kids in your school differently that like janitors you think they don't hear your conversations when they're sweeping up your mess that you did interesting but when you learn but what's interesting is this film because their intention you actually want to know why and how exactly they got there. It's kind of like a prison. You know, why, how exactly did this person get to prison? How did this person get to detention? So you have one girl who skipped school to go to the mall with her friends. You have the, the, the nerdy guy. He basically got caught with a gun in his locker. You have another guy who basically got kicked off the team because he was put being put too strong the big guy he did some other stuff whatever and then the other girl I guess she was just there for no reason but one of the other things is p kids don't do stuff for no reason it either could be because they don't because in that it all results back to the parents Parents push them. Sometimes parents push them too hard. They would want that they would want to kill themselves. Parents push them too hard. They're they'll do crazy things. Or even then, parents don't even push hard at all. They just ignore you. And that's heartbreaking stuff. It's heartbreaking, but it's real. And that's the most unique thing about this movie that it, that I was able to explore. And I I just I loved it. I loved it. It was it was able to be funny, but it was also would be um, emotional as well. But yeah, I I loved it. So that's my thoughts on the Breakfast Club, um, and, and even the thought of like when we come back on Monday, will we actually ever like talk again after this? And it, it brings that question that they that they also make friends throughout the film. Love it. That's my thoughts on the Breakfast Club. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.